This is Twit. In less happy news, uh, yeah. Apple and Android again unite on at least one thing right now: NFC payments. So this is what's going on. A large group of influential retailers, a, a big long list. I'll, I'll read some of them off to you. Uh, are blocking NFC payments at their terminals, thanks to their a homegrown mobile payment system called Current C. Current C works like this: uh, user installs the app, fills in debit card info, and then has to launch the app at the terminal, scan a QR code, and scan a QR code to register the payment. So this isn't nearly as efficient as Apple Pay, which is usually a single step. You use Touch ID and bump the phone against the terminal. And Google Wallet, which also uses NFC to register the payment. Tons of retailers have shut off NFC payments in favor of, of, of NFC um, instead of NFC, including Gap, Old Navy, 7-Eleven, Kohl's, Lowe's, Dunkin' Donuts, Sam's Club, Sears, Kmart. Bed Bath & Beyond, Banana Republic, Stop & Shop, Wendy, you're nearly all U.S. gas station chains. So the thing that I never thought we'd see happened where the, the Apple Reddit <laughs> board <laughs> invited the Android Reddit board to come together and boycott all of these retailers because they're basically disabling NFC payments entirely, which is both Apple Pay and Google Wallet for this uh, clearly inferior currency system, which is, I guess, um, made by this organization that all these retailers are members of. Um, Man, this is just, this is terrible. And I think we should all just boycott these retailers. It's, it just sounds like this currency app is, is just really not, not, not great. And the reason why these retailers want to do this is because they, they want you to enter your loyalty cards. They, they want to you know, collect your personal information. They don't want to cede your personal information over to technology companies. But the truth is that the user experience just isn't as good as Apple Pay or Google Wallet, arguably. Uh, Ron, I know you're a big Google Wallet uh, person. You you were using Google Wallet at least the time that that you and I went stopped at like a Seven Eleven together. Yep. You said you stopped since then. What's well, I, what's yeah, going on? I only I only stopped because the Seven Eleven I go to change their uh, machines and it doesn't have the 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 thing anymore. Slurpees. Yeah, no, I don't like. Oh, Slurpees. okay. But um, but I use it at Walgreens and it works, so that's fine. Um, I think this is a great example of why we can't have nice things. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I mean, this is this is this is what boils down to. I mean, this and now we get into kind of political debate and stuff like that. But this is the problem with capitalism. You know, it's the idea where okay, this is this great technology and this is what you can do, and we have this you know kind of um, big you know lofty utopian idea that we will have control over our money and our applications and we'll be able to do things, whatever. And then these become. I mean, if you look at that list, that is no. Yeah, it's not just like not a couple of notables. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty, yeah. yeah, and um, and. Of course, they're going to say, "Well, hang on a second. We want to. We want some skin in this game, and so they're going to develop their own thing, and it's just going to. And, it, and it's it's going to make it useless." So, not all of these companies, by the way, are actually disabling NFC. Some of them are, not right. all of them are, but all of them are kind of in on this currency, which, by the way, has not officially launched yet. Right. So even right. when it's they're not even available. disabling right. NFC, yeah. the, you know, now uh, for a system that I think launches sometime in the next six or eight months, right. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, Ren Renee Ritchie, MacBreak Weekly earlier today, uh, you know, wrote up an article on iMore about this and just basically said like, you know, the, the, the best way to have your voice heard on this is obviously to not, you know, to boycott. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, that's the thing is, is that you, I mean, there are these, you know, so, I mean, a, a great, the, the biggest power of the consumer has, I have a lot of problems with the local Walgreens that's in, in Berkeley, uh, downtown Berkeley. It's one of the most awful places in the world. Um, their s customer service is horrendous and their approach to everything. So what do I do? I don't shop there. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. that's all you can do, you know? And, and that, that's the best thing. And so if it, if it takes, you know, kind of Apple and Android users uniting and coming to the same cause and doing mm -hmm. that, that's fine. I mean, I'm not surprised to see Walmart and some other notorious companies on this list, you know? Like, it's, it's, it just shows that it's going to be a long road to get to the Star Trek vision of the world that, where everything just works. Well, and, and, also, and it also calls into question what we've said leading up to this, which yeah. is if anybody can make mobile payments payments a mainstream it works and people accept it sort of thing yep. apple's the company to do Which it because pisses me off so uh, well much. of course so of course yeah. you know okay so google yeah. you know Sorry. was doing it um, yeah, for a couple yeah. of years prior but yeah. they they bring different types of muscle to this type of, yeah. of scenario and they apple do. undoubtedly just has more of an influence in this regard more market influence yeah. but still is kind of coming in the crosshairs yeah